Before anyone in your family jumps on a bike to ride off on a summer adventure, you'll want to think about the story you're about to hear. One young woman learned a devastating lesson about bicycle safety, and she's talking to our Paula Tupman. And Paula, based on what happened to her, she shouldn't even really be here to tell this story. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And on a hot, steamy day like today, you might say to yourself, why on earth would I bother having a helmet around my head tight with a strap underneath my chin? And I would say, listen to Mia and see if she doesn't change your mind. It's not the childhood snapshot you want to necessarily frame. A skull cracked in numerous places, a brain bleed, and a near handshake with death. But this is the snapshot that frames the life of Mia Alex, who eight years ago did what a lot of kids do, jumped on a bike without a helmet. I fell um, off my bike. I basically hit a rock. And her story is like so many stories when the kids wear down the parent on something seemingly so simple. You know, I was 10 and 10 year olds do not usually want to wear their helmets. They think it's cool to not wear helmets. I now realize that that does not matter. You should definitely wear your helmet. Um, and I was asking my mom, I was like, Mom, it's just the driveway. Can I just, you know, not wear my helmet this time? She went down hard, really hard, and her life changed in an instant. She was not acting normally. She was not remembering. Dr. Friedman uh, took her to the operating room and, and had to take part of her skull off to uh, remove the blood that was collecting around her brain. The team at what's now known as Beaumont Health in Royal Oak stood between Mia and death. Doctors, nurses, physical therapists were able to give her a great outcome, but it doesn't always happen like this, which is why eight years later, when Mia went to the hospital to greet her medical staff as a graduating high schooler with honors, it was remarkable. It's, it, as I said, it's very rewarding. It's very satisfying. It's the best part of the job. That's luck, fate, faith. She absolutely had a guardian angel because kids are always telling us, it's okay, mom, it's okay, mom, it's not gonna happen. It is fine most of the time, but that's why we call them accidents. But that road to recovery was not so simple. Beginning of fifth grade, she struggled with school. Math was literally a headache because of her lingering head trauma. There was a disconnect between her brain and her hands. And so as children beg their parents to let them ride their bikes without a properly fitting helmet, Mia and her team at Beaumont Health have an important message. If I'm saving someone else's life by doing that, like by going through that and like telling people to wear their helmets, then it's worth it. Yeah, you know what, interestingly enough, this has also really enticed her to go into the medical field so she can help others. You know what, Karen? True talk here, if Mia's story doesn't change your mind about a helmet, maybe mine will. I went down on a bicycle wearing a helmet. The helmet cracked in three places. Had I not been wearing that helmet, I would be drinking my dinner through a straw mm. if I was lucky. Wow. So it's not just children, it's adults too. It's a very important message. Paula, thanks for sharing what happened to you and I'm glad you're okay and we really appreciate Mia coming forward as well. Something to definitely think twice about. Still ahead, first yep. at four.